Hello and welcome to Block 1 Productions. My name is Soma and I am with Glitch the Husky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a mini moog. But with a twist. I challenged myself to use only bug audio modules. But first, some history. The mini moog is one of those scenes that change history. It is so revolutionary and influential that Wired described it as the most famous synthesizer in the music history. It was manufactured between 1970s and 1981. And then the Moog Voyager, a new version of the Mini Moog, was manufactured between 2016 and 2017. The Mini Moog brought modular synth to the masses, and it became really popular in the progressive rock and jazz scene. It was used by Kraftwerk, Rush, ELP, Jess, and even by Donna Sommer and Dr. Dre. Incredible synth, and today we will be recreating it. The Mini Moog is a monophonic synth with three VCOs, a noise generator, the characteristic Moog filter, and two ADS envelope generators. One goes directly to the VCA and the other controls the filter. Newer versions add an LFO with some really interesting capabilities. As I mentioned before, I wanted to see if I could recreate it using all the bug audio modules. And it can be done. Everything except for the MIDI to CV, the audio output, the text modules and these light strips is from a bug audio. Let's follow the diagram included in the official manual. It starts with the keyboard. As I mentioned, I use the MIDI to CV from BCV and I have an M Audio Axiom 61 as a MIDI controller. The pitch goes to a glide, so I use a slew. In order to have the same glide rise and fall, I used offset and connected its output to the rise and fall CV inputs. Finally, I added a switch to turn it on or off. I like to label and delimitate the section, so I added a text module for every section. In this case, TD202 by Submarine. The pitch, whether it used glide or not, goes to two or three oscillators. I decided to use LVCO because of its size and because it has a sync input in case we need it, especially for the third oscillator. Now oscillator 1 and 2 are pretty much the same, so LVCO and a stack module to select its range or octave. The third oscillator is similar, but this one can become an LFO, which LVCO already does. It can also be synced and you can select whether you want pitch to affect the VCO or not. So I added another switch labeled KVD or keyboard control that only affects this VCO. Another element of this synth is the noise generator. I use noise and a switch to select between white and pink noise. The three VCOs, the noise and an external audio input go to the mixer. I use mute 8 to have on off per channel and matrix 8 1 to select the level. From the mixer, audio goes to the PCF. In this case, I wanted to use Lateralus, because I think it's a little bit more closer to the Minimoog filter, but since I wanted to use only bug audio modules, I decided to use BCF. It still works perfectly fine. The filter is controlled with an ADS contour generator, so I decided to use ADSR and just ignore the release. Let's connect the gate from our MIDI to CV to ADSR, and the output to UMix, because we will be using more modulation sources for BCF. I added another switch to select whether we want modulation or not. And finally, the KBD, or keyboard control, that in the Minimoog is divided into two switches. According to the manual, one switch adds, adds one third of the control, and the other adds two thirds. So you can have no keyboard control at all, all the way to full control in thirds. For this, I used offset at 0.333 and 0.666. Another switch and UMix 
and in this case I connected them to the V-Oct of this BCF. We have passed half of the module, it is a really easy yet powerful synth. Now that we have a filter audio signal, we need another envelope generator. Again, only attack, decay and sustain. So let's use another ADSR and ignore the release. Now let's use VCA to let our ADSR control the loudness. Fortunately, this VCA module is dual, so I will be using it later to add velocity control to the loudness. But for now, let's connect it to our audio output and we should have a fully functional synth. Let's try it. Let's work on the other part, which is modulation. The original version can use the third oscillator as an LFO, but newer version have a fourth oscillator that is exclusively an LFO. So let's do that. I will be using two LFO modules, and the reason is simple yet fascinating. According to the manual, the LFO is triangular at lower frequencies, and it switches to square at higher frequencies. It creates some really interesting modulation patterns. So in order to achieve that, I will be using both of the LFOs, one in triangle and the other in square, an offset module to control both of them at the same time, a switch to change between them, and CMP, a comparator module. In this case, I set CMP to send a gate signal as long as the signal in A is equal or greater than B, and I set the signal in B to 7 volts. So, whenever the offset module goes beyond 7, it will change from triangle to square. I added another offset if you want your modulation to be positive only. This LFO can be synced with a button, so I added yet another switch. Here is one of the most interesting parts of this synth, the modulation sources. It has four possible modulation sources and you can route two of them to an AB mixer. The first pair of modulation sources are the third oscillator and the ADS module that goes to the VCA. Simply add another switch and connect both of them. In the bottom part, I added an LFO sync component, same as before, use the gate from the MIDI to CV and it goes to the VCO when in LFO mode. The second pair is a noise and a dedicated LFO, so let's connect them both. And now that we have both pairs, let's add our AP mixer in the form of X fade. Just connect A and B from our switches and that's basically it. In order to add modulation amount, I used mix 1, a VCA with a, mod with a mute button. Let's connect our modulation to the filter and the VCOs, and I added another switch to select whether you want to modulate the VCOs, the filter, both or none. The last thing we will be adding is velocity control to the cutoff frequency of our BCF and to the loudness or the VCA. Let's add two switches and two offsets. This way you can change how much velocity will affect our cutoff frequency and in the case of the VCA we need the offset to have the volume at the level we want. Let's organize the patch and that's it, we now have a fully functional mini MOOC using only POG audio modules. Amazing synth and I hope you have fun building it or playing with it if you download it from my patch storage. If you have any suggestions on how to improve this synth or any other, please let me know in the comments.
Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Follow me on social networks and join my Discord.